Hello there, my friends. We're now up to lesson 84 in the review section. The two ideas for the day are love created me like itself and love holds no grievances. Two great ideas. Okay, let's look at the first one. And as always, think about these for a few minutes, then be quiet for 10 minutes or so and see what you get. Love created me like itself. I am in the likeness of my creator. Well, rather than saying likeness of, I'd rather say an aspect of, something that is not separated from, but just an expression of, an outpouring of. Because sometimes likeness can sound like, well, I'm sort of like my creator, and now I've got to get joined back up like puzzle pieces having to be put back together. That's not the right metaphor. I am in the likeness. I am the same as. I am an aspect of. I can't suffer because love can't suffer. I cannot experience loss or lack because a creator can't possibly do that, and I can't die because a creator is eternal and infinite, and dying is always associated with time, and time has nothing to do with the truth. I'm certainly not, in fact, at the core of my being, a body, because a creator isn't a body. That's a very transitory idea. Okay, what I would rather do is recognize what's real about me today. And I'm not going to worship any idols. Okay, so what are idols? Those are something that I think is going to save me, whether that's my self-image or things in this world or people in this world or anything else that is not love itself. Nor am I going to raise my own self-concept or my ego to replace myself. Remember, your ego is just nothing but a bunch of crazy ideas and beliefs and notions and limitations and judgments and needs and defenses. Oh my gosh, how could that possibly replace the true loving truth of myself? There's a place in the last chapter that says, salvation can be seen as nothing more than freedom from concepts. That's this self-concept, the concept of my individual self, the concept of the world, which is its mirror. All of that I need to be free of, and that's all I'm trying to do. Okay, love created me like itself as an expression of itself. So here are our individual ideas. Let me not see an illusion of myself in this. Let's just not pay attention to my ego mind or my sense of separate self in whatever's going on. As I look on this, let me remember my creator. In other words, wherever I am and whatever I'm doing, let me remember love is what I am. Love is how I got here. That's my profession, etc. And the last one, my creator or the origin of love itself, did not create this as I see it. And the this can be a person's behavior, what's going on, a situation, an experience in the world, whatever it is, it's all about fear, originating from a fearful state of mind, and love absolutely did not create it. Now we're going to move on to the second one. Love holds no grievances. This particular message reminds me that grievances or that feeling of being wronged is completely alien to love. Grievances attack love and keep its light obscure. Okay, if I hold grievances, I am attacking love and therefore myself because that's what I am. Attacking myself is really a very bad idea. <laughs> so I'm determined not to do that today so that I can remember who I am, that I can remember I am safe and beloved and whole and at home. I can't remember that. I'm going to stay afraid if I keep this wall of grievances in place. So here are some of these specific ideas. There is no justification for denying myself, for keeping myself from being loved and happy and safe. No event, no behaviors are worth denying myself this. I am the presence of love and that's what I deserve to experience. 
I will not use this, whatever this is, to attack love because I would be attacking myself. In fact, the last one says this, let this situation or person or behavior or words not tempt me to attack myself. Do not let perceived guilt, the transgressions of others, or anything else attack this preciousness of myself. I'm not going to let false beliefs that I hold gain the upper hand and convince me I should attack myself. No more. I'm onto this ego thing and I'm coming down on the other side of it and I'm delighted to be doing this. That's what we should be saying to ourselves. Okay, while saying that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye for now.